<laughs> well, Doug, you know, we've seen throughout the day crews doing a great job minimizing the slush and ice on roadways and maximizing safety. Here's a live look right here on Bartstown Road. It looks pretty clear. Not too many people out here enjoying uh, the evening of Friday night, but it's understandable since it's so cold out. But you can see to the sides, none of that has been plowed, probably because there's cars parked there. And it's a whole different story on the secondary roads. Now, while city trucks have worked overtime, so have private, private plow and salt crews in the incorporated places within the city. When you work this long, hours turning into days, tired is the only way to say it. I think we started yesterday at 3 or 3.30 in the afternoon, and uh, we've been going ever since. Yeah, my times, they could be off a little bit. It's all starting to kind of run together. This job, about 20 miles of road in Indian Hills, covering it with salt, and at the same time, clearing it of snow hard. Everybody's kind of whooped. This is just one of eight little cities within the city of Louisville that Steepleton's nine trucks treat and plow. Throwing salt on it, throwing salt on it. We ran through about 60 tons of salt. It's a lot of salt. It's going fast with this already being the fourth snow, or in this case, freezing rain and sleet as well of the season. This by far being the uh, longest. There was no way to get a head start this time around. There wasn't really an option to pre-salting because of the rain before and waiting for it to switch over. So now it's time to make up for lost time because what is melted will likely refreeze if left untreated. So we're trying to get the stuff off the road uh, while we still can. With this job, no rest for the weary. All right, let's knock this out and get moving. Only quick stops to refuel. Dinner time. Those guys certainly working hard. Now, this is what we were talking about. Uh, secondary roads right off of Bardstown Road. This is Maryland Avenue, probably a lot warmer in Maryland right now, maybe. Who knows, but uh, you can see the roadway here is completely covered, icy still, and we're taking it slow here in the beast. And this is the kind of issue the city will be facing over the next few days, trying to get to these secondary roads and put down some salt, especially when it gets cold and the melting snow uh, turns to water and then it just refreezes and makes it a whole nother headache at night. Um, meanwhile, Jim Graven of Steepleton says it's been a very busy winter season so far. The proof is that he says his salt purchases are already up 100%. And of course, we still have a lot of winter left. Live in the Beast, let's send it back to you, Doug.